a greeting so this is going to be for the virgo sun moon and rising times this is going to be another general reading this particular reading is going to be tapping into the energy of a particular person where you just like what the fuck is wrong with them why do they act the way they act um to kind of give you some clarity on them and how to move forward because i do think that a lot of times we as people tend to look only from our perspectives and not other people's perspectives or don't have like a kind of foundational understanding of the person and their intent in the first place kind of thing to be able to really understand the situation and how to move forward so i hope that this provides you with the insight that you all need but please keep in mind that this is general so it may or may not resonate for you and your situation if you are interested in a personal reading all the information will be in the description box below thank you to um all of my old and my new subscribers i really appreciate your support if you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed please do hit the subscribe button if this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment. I would love to hear from you all. Also, if anyone is interested in a personal read, or I'm sorry, in daily pick a card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Insight. And if I didn't mention, um, all the information for the personal readings are in the description box below. So let's see, Virgo. What the fuck is wrong with them? Okay, so... So, hmm. mm -mm -mm. I see somebody here that is not really like, they may speak a bigger game than they actually do. Um, or they may kind of come back in and like, kind of act like they're working towards something with you, but then they don't kind of thing. Um, so let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Temperance card in reverse, and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Six of Swords in reverse, the Justice card in reverse, and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. We have the Moon card in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so Virgo, a lot of you are dealing with earth signs, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Um, we also have the Sagittarius card. We have the Libra card. Could be dealing with another air sign, an Aquarius or a Gemini. We have the Pisces card. And we also have some cup energy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. So, oh, excuse me. So what I'm getting is that this person um, may be coming toward you or may um, be, you may be dealing with them now. And it's like this person is kind of implementing some sort of effort or some sort of energy into you in the situation. But maybe they're imbalanced or maybe there's um, like a lack of balance in them doing so. So it may be like a thing where for a while they're consistent and then they're not consistent anymore type of thing. Um and it doesn't get to a place of emotional fulfillment, of fulfillment in general. It doesn't get completed. Whatever is trying to be accomplished here, whatever work is being put into um, the situation between you two here on their behalf is not getting done. So let's see, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Emperor card kind of came out. So it could be a thing where this person comes in and acts as if they're going to take control and structure, discipline themselves and actually do the things they need to do. Yeah, we have the Four of Swords. So like it's a thing where this person kind of comes in and out. Okay. They take some time and they may actually contemplate the situation and really try to figure out how to implement the work um, for some of you. But I feel like it doesn't really get anywhere so why is the temperance card in reverse what is this we have the star card in reverse so it could be a thing about healing need to be done between you two um we have the ace of wands in reverse as well and the judgment card in reverse 
So I think some reflection maybe um, needs to be done all, between you two or just like whatever kind of relationship this is, um, whether it's a love re relationship, a friendship or whatever, there could be like a thing with trust issues or not healing from a past relationship kind of thing and not having the ability or their, or that causing a delay in something actually sparking. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you Virgos, this is someone that you kind of go in and out of with possibly and it's like a thing where um you two come back into connection with each other but things aren't healed and it's like there's reinvestment being done and there's energy being back implemented here with the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles but nothing is being accomplished here because the completion is being blocked by decisions not being made things that haven't been let go of um being imbalanced and the way that the energy or the the effort is put in here all of those kind of things so um i feel like this person is like this because they um they don't want to be isolated from you i feel like this person wants to stay connected to you um and i feel like for a lot of you this person is actually really trying so um why is this two of pentacles in reverse? Like, I feel like this person has made the decision on, on, yeah, king of wands. They know what they want, and I feel like this is something that they want. I just feel like as far as them actually putting in the energy here and doing what needs to be done, I feel like healing needs to be done first, honestly. Yeah, we even got the, the moon card here in the reverse. Um, and then, yeah, even in your energy... And what you can do to help the situation. We have the Justice card in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse talks about letting down your guard, being vulnerable. So um, instead of walking away or instead of like, because this is sword energy, it's kind of like a cold, blunt, kind of direct energy. So it may be a thing where you kind of shut yourself down and you don't speak. Okay, sword speaking. It's in reverse, not speaking or communicating how you're actually feeling um, about the situation, expressing really how you feel and how you both can work on that. Um, but I feel like this person has made the decision that this is what they want. They want you. They want this connection and whatever kind of connection it is. Yeah, we have the seven of swords in reverse, so I feel like it's been very clear. There may have been some um, cloudiness in the past. There may have even been some sneakiness or some deception of some sort of capacity here. But I feel like this person has good intentions. I just feel like as far as them implementing the work. Let's see. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Let's see if anything comes out about that. But the biggest thing is healing. And it may be a thing, too, where this person moves too fast. Um, based off of, yeah, see, we got the six of cups in reverse and the nine of cups. This person is stuck. You both are stuck in the feelings of the past, of the hardships of the past or whatever may have happened in the past between you two. But it's like, um, this person wants what they want and they want to be with you. I feel like they want the connection with you and whatever, like I said, whatever capacity it is, but I feel like they want the connection. And so it's like, they come out of isolation with you based off of that impulse. But things, very serious things, needs, need to be done and healed between you two. And so this is what I'm getting for your energy as well. So let's see, why is the Justice card in reverse? We have the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands upright. So I feel like you are kind of holding on to this energy and just pushing through with this person and it's just like you and this person may have a very loving connection like i said whatever kind of situation that it is um or just close connection or a connection that works out but it's like you are trapped in your thoughts about how you really feel about maybe how this person may have done something that you didn't like or how they move and how you feel like how they move is not fair or whatever it is and i feel like you don't voice this to this person you kind of let these things slide because i feel like there's a part of you that may be codependent on this person as well or just um very uh fulfilled with the connection or whatever kind of things you two do together within the connection so the capacity to change we have the moon card in reverse 
the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the Four of Cups. So let's see. For a lot of you, unfortunately, I'm feeling like um, we have the Three of Swords here in the Death card in reverse. But I was going to say, I feel like for a lot of you, it could be a thing where... Um, even if you do express how you how you feel and what you're wanting, or even if you two kind of healed things and tried, this could be a situation where it's just like it's not meant to be. So maybe it's being forced. Um, with the Four of Cups here, this can talk about just being bored or not feeling all the way fulfilled, like wanting something more, needing something more. Um, as the potential for change so i feel like it's kind of gonna stay stagnant four is the number of stability so it's kind of like that's the foundation that's the stability of the situation of it's like kind of wanting more always needing more always needing something to be fixed or corrected um within the situation so I feel like it may just end up being a thing where it's like um, a lot of hurt still comes about the situation between you two. Um, but maybe you two do continue to stay connected or um, continue to move on with one another. Why is the moon card in reverse? We have the Empress card. So some of you um, could have a baby with this person um, in the future, or maybe you already do. We have the Knight of Wands. Yes, yeah, some of y'all gonna have a baby, Lord. And maybe that's why this is gonna be present. This is like it can't end because y'all didn't have a baby. Mm, tragic. I know how that feels. So yeah, we got the Knight of Cups. Some of y'all having a baby, period. Some of y'all have a baby with this person. Some of y'all done had a baby with this person. Some of y'all tied to this person because of children, possibly. Um, but I just feel like as far as the potential to change, I feel like it's just going to maybe continue to be a thing where it's like stagnant or maybe there'll be some sort of success in making things better. But I feel like there's all, always going to feel like you're lacking something within the situation with this person. Your advice, we have the chariot card. Let's see what else comes out. For the Virgo. And we have the Six of Cups. So, hmm. With the memories of love being here with the chariot card, it could be a thing where this needs to just be a memory and you need to let it go. Um, for a lot of you, um, this could talk about really going within um, the relationship and what's happened because we have the six of cups and reverse energy here where it's like something from the past isn't healed or isn't like fulfilled or not being released something like that so you may need to move forward in that area with healing things with this person um there may be potential for something to be for um a lot of you possibly we got the death card in reverse but it's the energy is still there so it's like an iffy kind of thing like should i you know end this or whatever whatever but do whatever you want to do, um, but I hope that this really helps you all. You can check your moon and your rising sign. You also can book a personal reading with me. All the information will be in the description box below. Thank you all so much for supporting me and my channel, and I'll see you next time.